In the name of the Father, and the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Jesus, Mary, St. Joseph, St. Teresa, pray for us. Our Lady of Seven Sorrows, pray for us. I very much wish that I could hear Father Tara's sermons, and I think he really should publish them and promulgate them around the whole world. I think someone should, if possible, even record them with his permission, obviously. But it would be wonderful because he really is a preacher for all people in all nations and need to hear his voice and it's been stifled too long i hope that anyone listening can help him someone who attends there can maybe suggest that to him to have him he could do his own web page or or have a have a lay person he that he is uh has a relationship with that that's a good rapport uh i want to say trustworthy because people we can't really trust them fully we're supposed to put all our trust in the lord but someone he would be comfortable with having do that. It'd be so wonderful. Uh, he has a lot to say, and it's very important. Not everybody can always get there, be, whether they their location or their maybe they're homebound or any for any reason they cannot get there. And then secondly would be Father Foster, Father John Mary Foster, with the mission of Divine Mercy that fell into schism. I don't think he really wants that. His love though is so great. Of Christ in these messages he just fell in love with with Jesus and he'll do anything for him and that's what the whole relationship with Father Foster is in these messages he's just in love with Jesus is it a gift of the Holy Ghost that he's able to persevere in this or that he's able to do what he's doing I think a lot of it is inspiration from the Holy Ghost it's not just him but it's not I who live but Christ who lives in me. May God bless you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen.